So in, in college basketball, uh, there's changes in staffs that you don't like, and then there's changes in staffs that just feel right. And so for Coach Fortier uh, to be able to go over uh, to Gonzaga to assist Lisa, his wife, um, with the birth of their new child and everything going on, uh, I'm sad after seven years of coaching with Craig to not keep coaching with him, but glad he's right here in the community and able to help his wife with her huge opportunity that's in front of her. So that's a great thing. And then, uh, you know, what's really neat is in the three years that we've had here at Eastern building the program, we had an excellent graduate assistant for two years and a great director of operations in Dave Riley. And so for him to be able to move on uh, and advance his career, it's someone that's been a part of, of each step uh, as we've been building the Eastern program. He has the respect of the players. The players love him. I love him. He was, he was fun to coach. I think that brings a neat added dimension um, that he can relate to players as a former player of mine as well. And uh, coaching runs in his blood, and and uh, and so we're really excited to welcome David, and we're really happy for the opportunity uh, for Craig and Lisa over with the Gonzaga women's program. Come well, what what I'm going to be doing over the next you know four to six weeks, and this is a time when we can be pretty thoughtful because there's not a lot of urgency, is, is just really look at all of the different things that need to be done and whose skill sets does that fit the best. And let's make sure that we're staffing people to their strengths. And, uh, and so we're kind of looking at that. I think that I'm going to um, get a little more, more involved now on the defensive side of, of, of the court. And uh, the neat thing is, is we've got a great core of returning players that uh, have a grasp of our system and, uh, and we're going to be able to keep building on all the good teaching we've had as, as we've developed them as freshmen and sophomores. So our, yeah, our incoming class at this point, um, we're really excited about some walk-ons that we're just not allowed to talk about. Uh, but we signed Will Ferris in the fall. Our, our plan is to redshirt him and, and bring depth. You know, that's something that we'd like to do with, with most all of the freshmen that we sign. Uh, but we needed some immediate help up front. We wanted more athleticism in the post, a little more versatility. And so for us to be able to get Kyle Reed uh, from the Southern California area was a great get for our program. He's uh, going to put a lot of competition for playing time in the front court. He gives us some versatility, uh, tremendous athleticism, and he's just a very high character person, a good student, qualifier out of high school and is, is someone that we think is a difference maker, and we're really glad that he chose Eastern. Well, we're really excited. It was, it was a great season in terms of when you look at the history of the last 10 years, as good as any year at Eastern, uh, since our NCAA tournament team that Eastern still real proud of 10 years ago that we celebrated this past season. And so um, to have the players returning from that year from a 10 and 10 Big Sky team, um, our theme during the offseason is leave no doubt. You know, let's work so hard that we leave no doubt and that we take another big step forward as a basketball program in the 2014-15 season. And I think our guys are, are really sold out to that. And I, I love the work that's being done by our guys every day.